uh, in the name of Almighty God, the most beneficent, the, the merciful. I greet everyone wherever you are. Welcome to our program again. Uh, this is a continuity of our previous uh, program. Uh, as you can see it on the screen, uh, we have uh, discussed about the the problem of uh, unstable of electricity in in Nigeria, uh, and that day we have a network problem. Uh, that is why we are unable to complete the uh, the the topic. Um, uh, today we shall uh, discuss uh, about the solution. Uh, what are the solution and some of the recommendations we think can solve uh, the problem. But before I move into solution now we summarize what we have said so far in order to link uh, them together uh, we we have discussed about the the power uh, shortages uh, power uh, shortages are a great problem uh, for Nigeria to boost uh, their technology uh, industry. Unstable uh, electricity uh, is the major uh, problem in Nigeria, uh, which is uh, discouraging uh, many investors. To power supply, it is very, very important to uh, to have. Um, in my previous uh, video, we have discussed about the 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 people who uh, who control the electricity in Nigeria, who own the electricity in Nigeria, why electricity was named uh, ECN in 1960 and uh, how it became NEPA, Nigeria and Electricity Power Authority. And uh, I told you that uh, it became NEPA in 1972. Uh, they started working officially in uh, 1973. And later it became a power holding. Uh, PHCN 1999 and then uh, later Obasanjo sold NEPA and they changed the name to Power Holding and uh, during the good luck Jonathan, Jonathan sold Power Holding uh, and they changed the name again from Power Holding to NAS uh, Nigeria uh, Electricity Re Regulatory uh, uh, Company. So that was uh, 2020, uh, 2013. And uh, how many electricity uh, distributing uh, to cities in Nigeria? We have uh, discussed uh, this last time. Uh, how many uh, does Nigeria need before uh, we can have uh, stability of electricity? I told you in my previous video that, that we need at least 280,000 megawatts before we can have a sta uh, stable uh, electricity in Nigeria. Why Obasa just sold NEPA? Why Jonathan sold power holding? Why Buhari awarded Mambila power 
project to Chinese. Uh, uh, I have discussed about this, that the Mambila project, uh, Chinese contributed about 85%. The total budget of the project uh, and the federal government contributed 15% only. And the project is about $5.8 billion dollars, uh, US dollar uh, in Nigeria. So Chinese contributed uh, uh, massive money on this uh, project. And it is possible to have 24 hours, seven days uh, a week uh, st stability of electricity in Nigeria. So we shall answer uh, this question today. And why Nigeria cannot have uh, 24 hours, seven days electricity? So I will tell you the truth about this, uh, this matter. Uh, the erratic uh, uh, power supply in Nigeria is a metaphor. It's a metaphor forever. Uh, it is a metaphor. Uh, because uh, why we say this? Nigeria is the, is the second largest uh, gas producer in the world after Russia. Yet, so over 50% of Nigerians do not have access to the electricity. Uh, this is a, a great problem. Then what caused the erratic power supply? Uh, I have discussed this in my previous uh, video. Uh, and also unstable light has killed many Nigerians. It has killed many businesses. It has helped uh, crime. Blackout has helped armed robbers in Nigeria. Uh, this is the reason why Nigeria government must take a radical uh, action on this. It has affected the security, it has affected the health sector, most of the hospitals due to unstable electricity. Many patients have lost their lives. Uh, so it has damaged many homes and it has damaged many uh, home appliances that people have. It has damaged many food people kept. Uh, so in their refrigerator, uh, so electricity, it is very, very uh, important. And sometimes they will bring a crazy bill to, to Nigerians. Uh, all these uh, uh, cause many problems in Nigeria. I told you last time that they beat uh, a man who is working with uh, uh, Nigeria um, electricity regulatory uh, company. He was beat off to blind in Abeokuta while he was distributing uh, the, the bill because many people were frustrated. That is why that happened. Uh, electricity theft also uh, must be reduced. There are some people they are using the electricity without paying the the company, uh, and some of the workers as well working with the company uh, corrupt, uh, collecting uh, money uh, to connect illegal. Uh, um, power uh, supply to many houses so all without being commissioned by the company. All these also added to many uh, problems. Uh, unstable electricity in Nigeria has discouraged many foreign investors uh, because uh, Electricity, it is very, very important in any uh, business. Nigerians' uh, current power generation capacity uh, is about uh, 
1920 so some in, some report says 13000 some reports say for um 5000 some reports say 4000 uh but it is not up to 10000 so but nigeria needs at least 280000 megawatts before they can have the stable electricity 24 hours in a day uh, electricity generated and transmitted is below 4000 megawatts and that is the fact uh, it is comprised of a gas fired and hydropower station the system operates below capacity because of the problem with the gas supplies to fuel power station and we have more than enough gas uh, so that is why uh, uh, why some people prefer to use uh, solar and uh, this solar power comes in and almost 80 million nigerians do not have uh, uh, access to use uh, uh, power uh, to use a solar power system although it is cheaper but many people do not have access uh, to this uh, so why nigerians uh, don't have uh, regular electricity uh, so these are the things that we we discuss fully again so because last time we had problem of in uh, network uh, because of the this uh, power sector uh, power supply as well uh, when Bolaige was appointed as a minister of uh, power he tried his best to solve the problem but unfortunately he was murdered so he was killed uh, he was killed uh, will Bolaige killers be found it is not possible because when the killers are looking for the killers, uh, then the killers will never be found. When the killers are no longer in control of the agency in charge of investigation, uh, so that is when the killers may be found. So. Uh, uh, Nigerians, uh, they, they spend up to about 8 billion uh, naira per year on generator, on generators and on diesel as well. Uh, so, uh, and about 122 million Nigerians, they have access to the internet one way or the other when the they take light so they fuel uh, their generators uh, and they, are, they spend a lot of money on fuel on diesel uh, to power their generator so nigeria's uh, power problem uh, on the electricity date back to the country's early day of independence as we told us last time so Nigeria needs to build a new power plant and distribution line so to keep the uh, population uh, moving uh, well. Um, uh, uh, because uh, fixing electricity light, uh, fixing the electricity to provide light to the homes or, or offices could reduce business costs by up to 40 percent uh, so this is why nigerian government must work hard uh, to solve uh, this uh, problem um, uh, as i uh, i told you the reason why we brought this topic uh, many of our viewers uh, requested uh, for this topic uh, that is the first reason. The second reason is uh, uh, 
there is an information or rumor that federal government is planning to give Nigerians free electricity during this uh, this lockdown in Nigeria. But uh, I investigated the matter and I can confirm that there is nothing like that. Uh, there is nothing like that. But uh, although uh, the uh, the speaker, uh, Chief Femi Wajabia Miller, Speaker House of Representatives in Abuja, proposed the the matter uh, and then uh, if uh, Buhari can look into it and uh, approve it but there is nothing like that because the electricity is not in the hand of the federal government anymore as I told you only three people control the electricity in Nigeria Abu Bakar Absalami the former Nigeria head of state and uh, Sani Belu, former military governor of Kano State, and uh, Emeka Okafu. These are the three people that they bought the, the, the company, and the company is on the, them. So, with my research and information available to me, so Nigerian government cannot give power supply free federal government do not own the power supply in Nigeria anymore. So power supply do not belong to them. So that is why uh, it may not be possible uh, to give uh, Nigerians a free electricity for uh, two months uh, because uh, it will cost them a lot of money which they are not ready uh, uh, to, to bear that. So as of today, as I speak, so no decision has been taken by the federal government. Uh, they have discussed the matter uh, with the, the government, but federal government uh, has not taken any serious action so to provide uh, free electricity for two months. And then the Minister of uh, Power tweeted uh, that federal government will, will bear the financial responsibility of the exercise and they will look into it, uh, but nothing is coming out uh, from, from that. Uh, so, um, uh, because before we can move into a solution, we have to discuss uh, more about this uh, issue because so that it so that it will link up uh, together. Uh, so last time uh, we have discussed about the uh, that there are major kind of uh, power supplies we have a different way of uh, electricity supply we have regulated we have unregulated we have switching and we have ripple regulated electric power uh, so which is rate at which uh, energy is transferred to the final uh, and from a point of uh, an electric uh, circuit. So electricity supply refers to a, a process of bringing energy from the point of creation, such as power plant, so to the point of consumption uh, at a uh, how, a home or businesses or a business center wherever uh, and the importance of electricity in the house is very very important because we need electricity to power our lighting to power our television to power our cable to power our water heater to power our uh, cooling and heating to power our washer uh, and dryer to power our dishwasher, to power our 
refrigerator to power our electric oven to power our microwave to power our iron to power our mobile phone to power our uh, standing fan or ceiling fan to power our water boiler to power our electric uh, blankets to power our blender to power our computer to power our laptop to power our air condition to power our charger to power our game to power our pumping machine to power our electric motor to power our our cooker to power our electric uh, gas for for cooking so these are the uh, few of our home appliances uh, use the most uh, electricity uh, this is why the electricity it is very very uh, important uh, to us and we told you last time that uh, uh, the, uh, the scientists who invented uh, electricity uh, so is uh, uh, Michael Faraday uh, he, uh, he invented uh, electricity, but before Faraday, uh, there is a man called Benjamin uh, Benjamin uh, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, he's a scientist, he's an American inventor. Uh, he invented uh, electricity 1700, but. Uh, Thomas Edison produced a reliable, long-lasting uh, electric uh, bulb, electric uh, light bulb. Uh, so in his la uh, laboratory in about uh, 1879. So electric uh, station uh, uh, with um, uh, uh, some other uh, gadgets so also was assembled in about 1800 based on the Thomas Edison design but Michael Faraday uh, is a self-taught scientist uh, and he excelled in uh, chemistry and physics uh, he is the real father of electricity uh, this is where the uh, the uh, the the final uh, conclusion of uh, who is the 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 inventor of uh, electricity. So the world concluded that uh, the real father of electricity is uh, Michael uh, Faraday. Why? Because uh, he discovered law of uh, electromagnetism. So magnetism, he discovered and also he invented the first electric motor, uh, and also he built first electric generator, uh, and he never had a former scientific uh, education. So that is where the electricity uh, comes from. So now, uh, electricity in, in Nigeria, the history of electricity development in Nigeria uh, can be traced back to uh, about 1898 when the first generating power plant was installed in Lagos State uh, before the colonial uh, uh, master arrived. Uh, so, which it is very, very important to know this uh, uh, for, for record. Um, then, uh, in 1950, the pattern of electricity development uh, reached many towns, so under the colonial master, uh, Mr. Sir John Mafansin. Uh, who, uh, who was the seven uh, governor general who ruled Nigeria from 1948 to 1958. Then uh, in, in 1960, so Electricity Corporation and Niger Dam authorities uh, emerged from the 
Electricity Corporation of Nigeria. So that is ECN. So Electricity Corporation of Nigeria and Niger Dam Authority. So they merged together. And then the management of ECN changed the name. Uh, so they changed the name to NEPA, Nigeria Electricity Power Authority. That is when the NEPA uh, arrived. <coughs> that is how uh, they formed NEPA. And immediately after Nigeria and Biafra, Biafra War of 1967, uh, to in 1970. So then uh, in 1929, in 1929, uh, the first electric utility company also was established before we got our independence. Uh, so known as Nigeria Electricity Supply Company. So was formed. So that was uh, in 1929 during the Krima Thompson. So one of the British uh, colonial ruler who ruled Nigeria uh, that uh, time. Um, then um, in 1970, uh, during the military ruler, uh, General Yakubu Gowan, so Nigerian government appointed a Canadian company called uh, Showment Limited to review the merger of Nigerian Dam Authority and Electricity Corporation. And, uh, and Yakubu Gowan that time received the report received the report of uh, that was uh, 1971 when he received the, the report and the military uh, government that time they issued official decree uh, number 24 of ECN uh, that that is ECN were marched to become NEPA officially uh, so they said the decree says that with effect from April 1, 1972. Uh, so, and the matter actually started on the 6th June, 1973. Uh, so, according to the official uh, uh, website uh, of uh, Nepal that time. So, that is how uh the the nepa uh um, began uh their their services and then um in 19 uh between uh, 1989 during the military regime of general uh ibrahim babangida so nepa was commercialized Nepal was commercialized during the Babangida, and that time Nepal generated about 3,450 megawatts, uh, and they divided the uh, the unit into about six power stations. So in in Nigeria, at that time. And uh, so that's uh, Ababangida spent a lot of uh, money on our uh, our dams that time. So uh, that is that's where that was when uh, the uh, he spent money on uh, Kanji Dam. We have Kanji Dam in Niger State, and. Uh, then uh, there are some other dams that we have in Nigeria, but all the dams are uh, abandoned by the government. So due to unstable power supply of NEPA since that time, so uh, Nigerians, they have changed, they changed the full meaning of NEPA from Nigeria Electricity Power Supply, they changed the name to Never Expect Power Always. Never Expect Power Always, NEPA. So also some says no electricity power at all, no electric power at all, NEPA. 
So after NEPA changed their name to Power Holding during the uh, uh, Obasanjo, so Power Holding Company of Nigeria, Nigerians changed the name again due to unstable of the electricity. They changed uh, Power Holding to Hold a Candle Now. Hold a Candle Now. That is a P uh, H C N due to unstable uh, electricity in Nigeria. So Nigerians they criticized and complained the tariff uh, being too uh, low to the generating power. Uh, late uh, Alaji Umar Musayara Dua, when he was uh, in the government, uh, uh, so he tried his possible best uh, in about uh, July 2010. He spent about uh, 7.2 billion, uh, 7.2 billion dollars to improve the stability of electricity, but all his efforts failed. Uh, before Yaradwa, uh, between 1999 to 2007, when Obasanjo was in government, Obasanjo ruled Nigeria in 1976 uh, to 1979, and he came back again in 1999, and he ruled Nigeria from 1999 to 2007. So when Obasanjo was in power, so Nigerian government under Obasanjo's watch, they enacted uh, the Electric Power Sector Reform Act of 2005, which allowed Nigerian power utility company, which I said, uh, it have, so it allowed the company into series of uh, 18 successor companies, so six generate, generation companies, then 12 distribution companies covered all 36 states in Nigeria. And Obasanjo said, or Obasanjo claimed he spent $16 billion to improve the electricity. He claimed that he spent $16 billion to improve the electricity in Nigeria but no tangible results, no tangible results. When Obasanjo was in government, so NEPA became PLC in year 2000, Public Liability Company. Um, after, Obasanjo, after Obasanjo, then between 2007 to 2010, after Obasanjo left, Yaradua became Nigerian president. So uh, during Yaradua, so between 2007 to 2010, no improvement on Nigeria electricity. No improvement. Despite that he spent about $7.2 billion to improve the stability of electricity in Nigeria. So Yaradua died. Jonathan became president. To 2000 and, between 2010 to 2014, good luck, Jonathan. Uh, he, he said the federal government have to privatize uh, power holding. So Jonathan privatized power holding. So power holding came to an end. So uh, then they formed another company known as Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NAS. So these are the uh, problem from 1960 till now. So they changed NEPA to power holding, then from power holding again to, to NAS, Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NAS. So NAS was formed in uh, 2013. It was formed 2005, but uh, 2013, uh, that is officially when they started uh, 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 working officially. Uh, so that is now we have ECN 1960. 
So we have NEPA in 1972. We have PC, PHCN in 1999. Then NAS 2013. So NAS is not NEPA. So or PHCN. So uh, this PHCN is just like uh, uh, NCC, Nigerian uh, Communication Commission. So, which regulates the global, uh, global com, regulates MTN. So, that is uh, how this uh, company uh, is. So, they regulate the electricity uh, in, in, in Nigeria. And then, uh, 2015, uh, Buhari became president in May 29, 2015. So, Buhari government also secured about 1 billion credit line from the World Bank to improve the electricity in Nigeria. So, Nigeria is rated as the darkest nation today in the world. It is ranked lower on international indices in the business sector, which is discouraging foreign investments due to the unstable of electricity. Shortages of electricity in Nigeria is a complex uh, issue because uh, three people control the electricity in Nigeria, as I mentioned earlier. So, uh, shortages of electricity has affected Buhari's government as well. It has affected the uh, security, it has affected the health sector, it has affected the education in Nigeria, it has affected the economy. Unstable uh, uh, of electricity has crept Nigerian uh, Nigerian uh, economic uh, growth. The uh, lack of uh, stable of electricity has affected the politics. It has affected many policy that Nigeria have. When I was in Nigeria, I have invest investigated the the problem. Uh, why Nigeria is having a uh, problem of electricity, and I traveled to many states. I visited the dams. We have dams in Kassina, we have dams in, uh, we have dam in Kano, we have dam in Oyo, we have dam in Kwara State, we have dam in uh, Soko, uh, in Kano. So why all these dams are abandoned? So Nigeria focus on only three dams, uh, which generate power to all 36 states. That is a Shiroro Dam, Kanji Dam, and uh, Zungeru. So why Nigerian government abandoned the other uh, dams? Uh, there are major dams uh, in Nigeria. All the dams located in Niger State, the effective dams that we have in Nigeria located in the northern part of Nigeria, which is MENA. That is in Niger State. Kanji Dam was built between 1960 to 1968, and they spent about $209 million to build this uh, Kanji Dam. Uh, during uh, Yakubu Gowan, Yakubu Gowan was in government uh, during this time. Uh, then, uh, number two, we have Jeba Dam. I have been to Jeba to visit the dam many times. So Jeba Dam built in uh, so Babangida invest, uh, invested money again in 1985 on Jeba Dam. And number three, we have another one called Shiroro Dam. Shiroro Dam also is in Niger State. So Kanji Dam is in Jeba. Jeba uh, is uh, between Kwara State and Niger, Niger State. Uh, so um, the two dams were built during the uh, 
General Ibrahim Babangida. Uh, then we have another one called Zungeru Dam. These dams are hydroelectric dams and generate power outputs of about 1,920 megawatts. Uh, so and um, that is the, uh, the, the fact. Then dams are constructed to serve many purposes such as food control, water control and power generation. The three largest uh, hydropower dams we have in Nigeria are under operation and control the flow of the River Niger and River Kaduna. Shiroro Dam, Kanji Dam, Jeba Dam are generating power output of about 1920 megawatts, as I said. So it is not up to 4,000, it's not up to 10,000. So that is why Nigeria cannot have 24 hours, 7 days electricity even in the next 20, 30 years, and that is the fact. Uh, unless the government review this video and they take radical action on the recommendation which I will mention before I end today's program. Nigeria also have uh, other dams in, in, in the northern central. We have or other dam in southwest, we have dam in northwest, we have a dam in northeast. Many of of them, many of all these dams, are not functional due to the lack of proper maintenance by the Nigerian government. Kasina State have a, a dam called uh, Jibiya Dam. In Bauchi, they have uh, a dam called Kabinzaki. They have Kabinzaki Dam. In Bauchi, it is abandoned. We have uh, in Sokoto a dam called Bakolori Dam which was built in 1978 and they spent some money on it in 1984 during Babangida and also it was commissioned in 1992 but it is uh, abandoned uh, again. So um, uh, in Kano State there is another dam called Chalawa Dam in Kano. It was built or constructed for hydroelectric power station, but it is abandoned. We have uh, in Oyo, uh, we have dam in Oyo State called Ikere Dam. Ikere Dam also is abandoned. We have uh, Dadinkowa, Dadinkowa Dam in uh, Gombe, so it is abandoned. It was built in 1984. In Osho State, we have a dam called uh, Erile, Ede Erile Dam. It is abandoned. In Ogun State, we have Oyan Dam. In Ogun State, we have Oyan Dam. It is abandoned. Uh, in, uh, in Kebi State, we have uh, Zauro Dam. So it is abandoned. In Kwara State, they have Asa Dam. It is abandoned. Most of all these dams are supposed to be working to supply either water to the houses or it can be used for hydroelectric power station to supply uh, 24 hours electricity to the houses. But they are abandoned. They use many of uh, this dam for water supply, but Nigerians do not get any water from tap. They used uh, many for irrigation, 
it can be used for irrigation as well. So they are all, all these dams I mentioned are national dams, which, uh, which is given to us by Almighty God. In Sambara State, also, we have Guzo, Guzo Dam. So Guzo Dam also, uh, it is also uh, abandoned. All this, uh, uh, there was a time that they spent money on uh, on Guzo uh, Dam, 2006, but the project was abandoned as well. In Kano, as I said, that the Kano uh, dam was designed for hydropower generation to generate about 3 megawatts during the uh, rainy season. Uh, but sadly, so it is uh, abandoned. Dadin Kowa Dam in Gombe has a total capacity of about 800 million uh, kuba meter of uh, water and the co it cost government about 8.2 billion naira uh, so the project was awarded to chinese chinese company gcc in nigeria so chinese they have many companies in nigeria and nigerian government has borrowed a lot of money from china so that is why Buhari cannot do anything with Chinese because before Buhari came to power, Obasanjo also borrowed a lot of money from China. There are many projects in Nigeria awarded to Chinese. Uh, in 2009, another um, um, uh, 7 billion naira was allocated to Chinese. To complete the idle electric uh, uh, electrical generation uh, of uh, all this dam, Ikere Dam also was built to generate 35.37.5 megawatts of electricity in 1983. Uh, so the project has been abandoned. These are the reason you cannot have electricity 24 hours, and I'm I'm, I'm giving you the confirmed information. The uh, Jibia Dam in Kasina, the dam was constructed in 1987 to uh, in 1989 when Babangida was in government. Babangida came to uh, to power in 1985 and he left 1993. So Babangida invested a lot of money on this dam to support irrigation and water supply, but the project has been abandoned. Uh, Ki, uh, Kiri Dam in, uh, in Adamawa, this dam also was completed in 1982 during Babangida, but the project has been abandoned after he left the government. Mambila Dam is in Taraba State, the Mambila Dam is a Mambila power station, which is one of the Africans and Nigerians' biggest dam project for hydropower plants. Uh, that we con that will be connected to Kanji Dam, Shiroro Dam, and Jeba Dam across the Donga River in Taraba State. So it is a project that we give us power station, which uh, we hope uh, to supply about 3,050 megawatts. 3,050 megawatts when completed in 2030. That is when the Chinese company will finish the project in Taraba State. And the project construction cost federal government, this Buhari government, it costs the government $5.8 billion. So US, uh, that is a US dollars, because we have Canadian dollar, you know, and we have American dollar. So 5.8 billion US dollars with the help of Chinese investment and the federal government 
and the Federal Ministry of Power. So it will generate about 50,000 employment. The project uh, started in 1972, 1972, and it was abandoned. When Obasanjo came, he, he, he invested money on that project in Taraba. After Obasanjo left, it was abandoned. Then it was recommissioned again, 2007, uh, when Yaradua came. They, with the hope that they will complete it in August 2010, it was abandoned. When Buhari came 2015, so Buhari reapproved the project again 2016 to three Chinese companies, three Chinese companies, including uh, Jezoba Group Company, that is Chinese company, which started the project. Finance for Mambila Hydro uh, Power Project, uh, the Chinese Exports uh, Imports Exim Bank in China. So Exim Bank in China uh, is funding this project. That is, the Exim Bank contributed 85% of the estimated 5.8 billion US dollars so for this project so federal government that is nigeria government contributed 15 percent only so to fund the project so london-based uh, company called uh, bernard and partner uh, engage in the uh, preparing the uh, feasibility study of the project so that is when the project uh, is completed. So Chinese, we have uh, more power on that project. So uh, these are the uh, are, are the uh, problems. So we there are a lot of problem. The problem is complex in the area of this uh, uh, electricity, uh, which we 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 must know. Uh, uh, the situation. So Nigeria, it is very sad. So Nigeria, about 59 years ago, was a, a country uh, whose uh, value system was high and respected. Nigeria, during the colonial era, uh, was a country where people have uh, an affinity for a worthy uh, cause. Uh, corruption was very, very low. British made Nigerians appreciate the value of discipline, regardless of tribe, regardless of religion. After the independence, all those values had, had vanished. Due to what? Due to bad leadership. Due to tribalism. Due to nepotism. Nigerian military leaders and civilian, civilian government that we had in the past to present day, they have seized the opportunity to steal public fund and they use the public fund to enrich themselves. Nigeria has uh, natural resources more than uh, the many uh, nations across the world. Nigeria joined uh, OPEC in 1977, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Nigeria is number six among the oil producers all over the world. Nigeria is the second largest oil, uh, gas producer after Russia. Yet, Due to bad leadership and corrupt government, corrupt top government officials, so many of our citizens cannot afford three square men in a day. And the power sector also is in danger. The uh, education sector, the health sector, the security, uh, so Nigeria uh, today is rated as uh, 
darkest nation. The issue of energy being a factor uh, which has already uh, creeped, that is, uh, electricity has creeped the Nigerian economic growth. So the Nigerians' energy needs, uh, needs being met by the petrol and diesel generator. Nigeria needs to, gener to generate at least 280,000 megawatts of electricity. The total generation in Nigeria that we have for today is about 1,920 megawatts. Fashola said one time that Nigeria is generating about 5,000 megawatts. Uh, uh, let's, Umar Musayaradua, when he was a government, he tried his possible best to generate about nine to 10,000 megawatts. The project set up uh, about 12 powerful uh, stations, 102 transmission lines, 22 transformers, he spent about $7.2 billion, as I said. That is about 1.5 trillion naira without any fruitful results. Many power projects also failed during a good luck, Jonathan. Uh, so, Buhari became president in 2015, as I said, so he himself is trying, he is trying his best uh, to have uh, um, uh, um, stability of electricity in Nigeria, but as I said, until they complete that project in Taraba State, which the project will be completed in 2030. And Buhari leaves government 2023. Uh, a former Nigerian president, Chief Olusha Gwamba Sanjo, is, he claimed that he spent $16 billion on electricity uh, during his eight years' rule. Obasanjo himself targeted about 10,000 megawatts of electricity between 1999 to 2007, but Nigeria remains. Uh, epileptic power supply. In 2009, during Yaradua, uh, Yaradua uh, asked the House of Rep to investigate how Obasanjo spent $16 billion on electricity. But in the end, uh, the investigation for four weeks went under the carpets. Why? Because uh, Yaradua cannot touch Obasanjo because it was Obasanjo that, that, that helped him to become president. So Yaradua cannot touch Obasanjo. The investigation uh, took about four weeks, uh, but nothing, uh, no tangible results on that uh, investigation. So no tangible outcome. Uh, of uh, the House of Rep's efforts, how Obasanjo spent $16 billion on electricity. That is why Buhari said last year that uh, he will make inquiry again to ask Obasanjo how he spent this uh, $16 billion uh, because Buhari said where is uh, the power sector uh, where is the electricity if a person just spent up to that uh, 16 billion dollars but uh, later the investigation went under the carpets because obasanjo helped buhari to become president as well because obasanjo was having problem with jonathan and obasanjo uh, helped buhari against jonathan and Jonathan offended Obasanjo and he refused to apologize. So that is why Obasanjo supported Buhari Tinubu and they won the election. With the hope Obasanjo thought that things will go well. But now Obasanjo is been accusing Buhari's government that the Buhari is not doing well. He's been attacking Buhari again as well. So that is why Buhari 
is trying to reopen the case of uh, that uh, 16 billion dollars of us just say, said or claimed that is spent on electricity but uh, uh, nothing nothing coming out so nothing uh, is coming out from the the probe again uh, so uh, so that is why Yaradua, if not that uh, Yarad, if not that Obasanjo helped Yaradua to become president, it was Yaradua, uh, it was Obasanjo and Babangida that helped Yaradua to become president. So maybe uh, Yaradua could have taken uh, a serious uh, action, but he cannot touch Obasanjo. So Yaradua ignored uh, Nigerians' uh, request that time. They demanded for probing Obasanjo because Obasanjo helped Yaradua so to become president in 2007. So Yaradua cannot do anything. Now, let us go back to 2018. 2018, uh, under Buhari's government. So Buhari challenged Obasanjo, as I said, 2018. So he said there is nothing to show for the sixteen billion dollars spent by Chief Olusegun Obasanjo's administration on power sector. He criticized Obasanjo. He expressed uh, his uh, concern, so concerns about or uh, about the unstable of electricity uh, in Nigeria. So corruption is going on. So corruption in the energy sector in Nigeria has a long history in Nigeria. So because uh, for Obasanjo spent 16 billion US dollar yet Nigeria remain in the darkness till today. Jonathan also spent a lot of money so no result. Yaradwa spent 7.2 billion dollars so no tangible results. 2010, uh, when Jonathan was in government, so uh, good luck, Jonathan, a former Nigerian president. So good luck, Jonathan. Uh, he privatized the power sector on 26 August 2010 when he launched the roadmap to power sector reforms, and he announced the winner bid. On the 16 October 2012, for the generating and distributing electricity in Nigeria. So the power holding company of Nigeria was split into six generation, and 11 distribution firms all sold separately for about 2.5 billion dollars. That is the amount Jonathan sold. He sold power, uh, power holding. So he sold power holding. Uh, Jonathan sold so power holding, and um, uh, Jonathan sold Nigerians' power to private sectors for about uh, two point five billion dollars. Power holding keeps the, the light, so they keep the light on for only a few hours a day, so forcing those who cannot afford it to rely on expensive diesel generators that burn up billions of uh, dollars. So most of the people who bought the, the power holding include Former Nigeria uh, head of state. So former Nigeria head of, uh, head of state. Uh, that is uh, General Abubakar Absalami and former military governor of Kano, as I said in the beginning, Sani Belu and Emeka Okafo, Sanaibo Man. These are the three people controlling the electricity right now in Nigeria. So the electricity is no more in the hand of federal government. So Jonathan issued their share certificates and operating license to them. And a lack of invest investment in the transmission network. 
So poor gas supply and labor disputes remain the challenges in delaying the progress in boosting power outputs. So uh, that is uh, the uh, sometimes they have problem of uh, gas to boost the power output in Nigeria. Then after Jonathan sold the the power holding, then Jonathan paid another seven hundred and fifty dollars to help the improvement of the transmission. And Jonathan signed a deal of one point three billion US dollar with the Chinese company again. Jonathan signed a deal of $1.3 billion US dollar with the Chinese government to build another power plant before Buhari became president in 2015. So Nigerian power capacity hit about 5,000 megawatts before Buhari became president. So National Integrated Power Project, that is NIPP, also uh, was introduced that time. And Jonathan said that time, I quote, Jonathan said, power is one area Nigerians appreciate. We are moving, we are yet to get 24 hours of light in our cities. So in the end, no no electricity, nothing. So power holding company of Nigeria are in charge of monitoring electricity uh, transmission uh, in Nigeria. So, and Jonathan said that they, uh, they can generate about 4,321 megawatts. He said this on the 31 August 2012. So, but today, uh, nothing uh, like that. Um, uh, the, we need to go back again to um, to uh, Obasanjo, when Obasanjo was in, in the government. The reason why uh, we have to review each uh, administration so that we understand where the problems uh, uh, comes from. Because each government, they inherited different problem. Uh, and, it's, and they may have their own program or agenda, but the problem that uh, the previous government left, so they have to uh, work on it and also they have their own agenda. Uh, during Obasanjo regime, Obasanjo sold many national assets of the federal government. So Obasanjo he sold Nigeria refinery in Portacot. He sold Kaduna refinery to Aliko Dangote. But when Yaradua came, Yaradua invited Dangote and he returned his money to him. He said, you cannot buy a Kaduna Rivanari because the Rivanari belongs to the to belongs to Nigeria. It's national asset. So he returned his money to him. Obasanjo uh, privatized Nitel. And uh, he sold Muritala Muhammad Airport. He, he used a uh, 42 million naira to buy presidential jets uh, with a plate number 5NFCT. Obasanjo sold a Jaukuta Steel Company. Uh, he sold it to a Global Steel Holding owned by Jima Ibrahim. He sold Pijot Automobile, Automobile to Alaji Sani Dauda. He sold Nikon to Jima Ibrahim. He sold National Oil to Mike Adenuga. He sold cement company to Aliko Dangote. 
and he claimed that the federal government invested 800 billion naira on public enterprises, uh, uh, but the government uh, lost huge losses. So that is why they have to sell all those national assets. Uh, so that is when Obasan just sold Nepa as well. He sold Nepa. And uh, for eight years of uh, Obasanjo, uh, Nigerian government made about $200 million every day. For good eight years, $200 million uh, every day from our crude oil. That time he was the president and also he was the minister of petroleum for eight years. And he supported Buhari against Jonathan uh, that time. Why? Because Jonathan refused to dance to his tone. Uh, Jonathan refused to dance to his tone on certain issues that time. So, but today uh, Buhari is not happy with the uh, um, Obasanjo is not happy with Buhari uh, due to the state of the the state of Nigeria uh, because things are not are not going well. Obasanjo appointed no Ribadu as EFCC that time EFCC chairman, but when Yaradua came, he removed him for self interest. He replaced him with uh, Waziri Farida. When Jonathan came, he removed Waziri Farida for unknown reason till today. So uh, these are the, so lack of uh, uh, commitment of uh, many of the leaders uh, in the past, uh, so lack of full commitment led uh, led to some of them to to fail, but uh, their efforts curtailed the level of uh, uh, corruption. The living standard of average Nigerians has constantly been falling in the last uh, 30, uh, 30 years uh, till date, despite the huge wealth available uh, to, to, to Nigeria. Uh, as I speak today, uh, so Nigeria Electricity uh, Regulatory Commission owned by uh, General Abubakar Absalami, Sani Bello, and Emeka Ofo. So Jonathan sold the power holding to them. Uh, they are regulating the electricity for Nigerians in all 36 states. The company was divided into separate companies known as electric distribution companies or local distribution companies. And each is responsible to handling electricity distribution in each state in Nigeria. In May 2016, the company have 11 companies in charge of uh, distributing electricity to Nigerians. Uh, so, number one in Abuja, we, they have one in Abuja called Abuja Electricity Distribution Company PLC. Uh, number two, Beni Electricity Distribution Company. Number three, Eko Electricity Distribution Company PLC. Uh, Enugun Electricity Distribution Company PLC. Number five, Ibadan. Electricity Distribution Commission, uh, Distribution Company, PLC. Uh, number six, and uh, number five, Ibadan, Electricity Distribution Comp uh, Company, PLC. Number six, Ikeja, uh, Electricity Distribution Company, PLC. Number seven, JOS, Electricity Distribution Company, PLC. Number eight, Kano Electricity Distribution Co uh, Company, uh, PLC. Uh, number nine, Kaduna Electricity Distribution uh, Company. 
Number 10, Potter Court Electricity Distribution Company, PLC. Uh, number 11, Yola Electricity Distribution uh, Company, PLC. Now, they, they have another six company for generation to generate the electricity. So in Nigeria, number one, Afam, Afam Power PLC. Number two, Egbe Power PLC. Number three, Kanji Hydro PLC. Number four, Sakpele Power PLC. Number five, Shiroro Hydro Electric PLC. Number six, Ugeli uh, Power uh, PLC. Uh, so this are uh, these are the companies that are controlling the activities of uh, gener generation and distribution of the electricity to homes, cities in Nigeria under those three people that I've mentioned. So how the electricity is uh, distributed? So electricity is generated at between. Uh, 11.5 to 16 kV and step up by the step up transformer to about 330 kV at the power station. The voltage is stepped down by a distribution a transformer to about 11 kV uh, uh, in, in Nigeria. Uh, which is turn uh, is stepped down to about 0 0.4415 uh, kV and later further step down to 240 kV before it gets to our homes or our offices in Nigeria. So the erratic power supply in Nigeria is 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 metaphor. Uh, it's metaphor. So blackouts are often uh, in Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is uh, Africa top energy producers, uh, and also, uh, as I said, that Nigeria is the second largest uh, gas uh, producer uh, across the the globe. So yet yeah, over fifty percent of Nigerians do not have access to electricity. Unstable light in Nigeria has killed many Nigerians. It has killed many businesses. It has added more to the crime in Nigeria. It has affected the security because the government cannot uh, operate CCTV to combat the crime when there is no electricity. So if they are planning to operate CCTV, uh, they are, there must be 24 hours, seven days uh, electricity So in the, in the country. So it has affected security as well. So it has affected many hospitals. There are many hospitals where many pregnant women have died due to uh, unstable of electricity, many people have died, many children have, have died due to unstable of electricity. Uh, so it has damaged many of our food, many of our properties, uh, so, uh, so damage many home appliances so in Nigeria. So many residents are not happy with the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NAS. The, the current company uh, handling the electricity. Uh, why? Because due to high electric um, uh, crazy bill, they distribute to many houses uh, and people are frustrated because due to unstable supply of uh, regular electricity. So many offices do not pay their electricity bill in Nigeria. Uh, which is uh, estimated to about 1.2 billion US dollar per year. Many politicians in Nigeria, they don't pay their uh, electricity bill. Many individuals as well in Nigeria, they don't pay electricity bill. 
some military offices they don't pay their electricity bill many companies many organizations they do not pay their uh, bill in nigeria so many workers of electricity supply also they mismanage the revenue of the company and that is corruption as well so it is not only government that is corrupted uh, that is corrupt many individuals in nigeria also are corrupt so some uh, switched to inverter inverter generators and electricity workers sometimes they strike if the company fail to pay their salaries so many nigerians are not happy with the uh, with their services so they have introduced prepay meter if a customer wants a, a, a meter, he will apply to the electric, electricity distribution company known as DISCO. The meter is provided free of charge. The customer pay for the installation. DISCO is responsible to provide new transformer. So if there is a fault within 24 hours. So this code disconnects your electricity if you own electricity bill and you ignore the, the warning. So electricity uh, is inadequate. So in Nigeria, most of rural community do not have access to electricity. But during the election, they will go to villages one by one to distribute their posters and promise them that they will provide electricity. Nigerian, uh, Nigerian politicians, they have been using the uh, advantage of uh, unstable electricity as part of their campaign. Every four, four years, they will promise heaven and earth that they will provide uh, 24 hours electricity. We shall provide electricity 24 hours if you vote for us. It's a lie. So I have told you the truth about this because they have been using this avenue since 1960 till date. So the electricity, they, they know that uh, electricity is very important to, to them. So that is why they have been deceiving them that they will provide electricity So uh, in Nigeria. Um, and uh, we, the, the company that uh, handling the, the electricity now, the cost of uh, the electricity for Nigerians or their customer in Nigeria depend on four things. One, uh, location of uh, disco customer. Then tariff, class of customer. Number three, tariff rate. Number four, the quantity of the electricity consumed by the uh, by the uh, customer so uh, these are the things that is uh, happening before we we shall move to the solution but we have to know the problems before we can discuss about solution so that we understand what we are saying so power shortages uh, a, a great problem for Nigeria to boost technology uh, industry. So Nigeria cannot boost the technology. Chinese, they have a stable of electricity. That is why they are very, very good in technology. Uh, the same thing applies in United Kingdom. This, the, the same thing applies in United States of America and Canada. They have 24 hours stability of electricity. That is why they can boost their technology industry. Uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, interrupted electricity uh, is the major problem which we are discussing uh, at this uh, moment. So, other uh, the major uh, problem that uh, that's affecting the Nigeria economy. Number one is this issue that we are discussing. Other challenges are corruption in the government, corruption within the individual. 
then taxes. Many people don't pay tax, so they, 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 they see tax as something that is not important. And governments are using the taxes to help the social welfare and some other things in the Western world. So Nigeria's uh, unreliable electricity cost Nigerian government herself about 29 billion US dollars in a year on power, on solar power. So uh, all this money can be in, uh, invested on the power sector and if it is possible for them to even buy the company back and take the full 100% responsibility so, so that they can provide uh, electricity for the uh, masses. International Money Fund, IMF, they say that uh, lack of access to reliable electricity cost Nigerian an estimated $29 billion per year. So that is what IMF says regarding to electricity in Nigeria. The situation has affected the environmental and health risk because many households, organizations, company, individual, government departments, military, navy, air force, police, they have resorted to fossil uh, fuel generators and Nigeria spent an uh, estimated about 29 billion US dollars. Some reports said they spend about 1.4 billion US dollars a year on generator. This problem creates unemployment in Nigeria and polluted the, the, the air, which can cause uh, cancer. So Nigeria government must address this uh, important uh, issue. Uh, so, uh, so Buhari must not ignore the solution to solve uh, this uh, problem. Uh, Buhari, Buhari must work hard to before uh, he end his uh, administration. He should work hard on uh, on security, security challenges in Nigeria, and he should try more of his efforts on the power sector on health sector, quality, life of citizen, it is very, very important uh, because uh, the country has been caused, the country has been caused by some divine power to wallow in abject poverty with uh, rich potential killings, kidnapping, terrorism. Nigerian problem lies on knowledge without character right without responsibility, politics without principle, worship without fear of God. We have many churches, we have many mosques, we have many imams, we have billionaires among the pastors in Nigeria, but without having fairness of God. So worship without fear of God. So we have uh, leadership without the quality of leadership. So, leadership without the qualities of leadership is not leader. We cannot call it uh, leadership. So, every leader must have the qualities of leadership before you can prove to yourself that you are a good leader. Until the followers, your followers are happy with you. Uh, it doesn't count about how many followers you have how many uh, people uh, live in the country. So it uh, lies on the, the quality of the leader who is ruling a country. Uh, so quality of leadership is very important before you can appoint somebody as your leader. So uh, Nigerian politicians, they are full of empty promises. So uh, these are the... Uh, problem why the uh, the electricity problem remains stagnant since 1960 till date why Nigerian politicians they have become power drunk and they have trespassed 
the political rules and they have trespassed the rule and regulation of the um, electoral uh, reforms. So uh, Chinua Achebe, he said in his book, I read the book titled The Trouble with Nigeria. He said there is nothing wrong with Nigerian land, nothing wrong with the Nigerian climate, water, air, or anything else. Achebe said, he said the Nigerian problem uh, is the willingness or inability of its leaders to raise their responsibility, which is the hallmark of uh, true leadership. So Nigerian leaders have, uh, they have uh, unlimited access to unlimited fund for personal use. So Nigeria will continue to remain the way it is uh, unless the government begin to understand the uh, the problem and ready to solve the problem of the citizen in the country. So that is when the the problem uh, can be solved. And Aminu Kano also said that uh, Nigeria we know no peace until uh, the children of uh, nobody become somebody without knowing anybody. So these are the uh, things that uh, uh, we need to think about it. So Nigeria political leadership class in the past, so they rule with a self uh, service. And some of the leaders that they came after them, they rule with a personal goal. So corruption has been, been the greatest problem in Nigeria from 1960 till date. Uh, so breakdown of law and order triggered the corrupt practices and create avenue for the instability of power and uh, security, education, and other basic needs. So this is uh, where uh, the problem is. Uh, we can see that a free education program funded from COCO, COCO revenue, and from rubber and palm oil, University of Ilefe was built from the COCO revenue. Liberty Stadium Ibada, and Coco House Ibada also was established from the income of the Coco. And University of Insuka also were built with foreign uh, ground from the income of the proceed for uh, from uh, Coco and Grand North. So that time railway was functioning, electricity supply was regular. So water supply was regular. Security is effective. Aulowo, Azikwe, and Amadubalo invested their good leadership so into uh, Nigeria. And Nigeria could oil exports to about five regions by this Destination Act of 2001 during Obasanjo. Uh, North America made of U.S. and Canada uh, have about 41.25% of total 2.5 million barrel per day that we have. Europe uh, comprises uh, Germany, France, Italy, Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, um, uh, and United Kingdom. So they are getting good oil from, Niger from Nigeria, which is about 26.09%. So Asia and the Far East comprises, uh, comprises, um, comprising uh, India and uh, Indonesia. Also, they are getting quid oil from Nigeria. So 59% South America, also, they are getting quid oil from Nigeria. So Senegal, Cameroon, they are getting quid oil 
risk from Nigeria. And all the resources, all the money that they have paid Nigeria, uh, uh, so all the money uh, has been looted. According to No Ribadu, when he was uh, EFC's chairman, he said Nigerian leaders has stole more than $500 trillion from the income generating from the crude oil. So according to Onohu Ribadu, so when he was uh, chairman of EFCC. So Obasanjo appointed Onohu Ribadu, but Onohu Ribadu cannot touch uh, Obasanjo so when he was uh, in government. All this money we are talking about can solve Nigeria problem on electricity. So that is my point. And most of the money, the Western countries, they have returned back to Nigeria. They return a lot of money. I have mentioned this in some other video. During Abu Bakr Salam, they return money. Uh, during Obasanjo, during Jonathan, and uh, when uh, even last year they have returned about 300 million dollars to Buhari as well. So Nigerians are demanding for what they use the money for. So no accountability. All this money we are talking about can solve Nigerian problem on electricity. And it can build a classical hospital for Nigeria. So these are the an uh, area that uh, we want them to look into and review uh, all this so that uh, people will be uh, very uh, uh, happy. So now let us move into solution. Uh, what are the solution? Uh, because when we uh, have problem uh, when we have a personal problem, we, what comes to our mind is solution. You want to have children, so you have problem. So the solution is to think of a woman that, you will, that will be your wife to produce children because you cannot produce children for yourself. A woman who is uh, thinking of having children, you cannot produce children for yourself. You have to look for a husband. So now, the problem, we have mentioned many problems. To my own personal research and opinion uh, and some uh, information that is available on the uh, website uh, of um, many of the company are uh, handling the electricity in Nigeria and some of the newspaper and some of the document that is available to me as a press man. I work in National Assembly for eight years, National Assembly Abuja. So I have uh, more than enough information that, uh, that we can uh, use to uh, to use as a, uh, as a solution to Nigerian problem and with our experience uh, in, uh, on the uh, information uh, handling. Uh, first, uh, the Association of Nigerian Electricity Distribution, um, uh, the Association of Nigerian uh, Electricity Distributors, uh, uh, says that Nigeria may not have stable power supply in the next five years, except the challenges um, uh, the challenges confronting the sector are addressed by the government. Who said this, Mr. Sunday or Dutan? So, Mr. Sunday or Dutan is a director of research. Uh, he disclosed this at a news conference in Lagos, and the information was published in Punch newspaper July 24, 
demand said that uh, lack the, uh, he, he is giving us information about the problem and uh, he said lack of uh, much needed investments in transmission and distribution network and rising energy theft so among others are the major problem of uh, unstable of electricity in Nigeria. Number two, demand said, he said lack of uh, Im improved uh, generation due to mismatched electricity pricing. So that is number two. He said number three, he said many ministries uh, military offices, department of uh, agencies in Nigeria do not pay energy consumed, as I said in the beginning. So many of the offices, department, agencies do not pay for energy consumed. That is, even if, if government make uh, availability of electricity 24 hours 7 days in a, uh, in a, 7 days in a week so uh, the citizen must be ready to pay for their electricity uh, bills so the man said he said that uh, many ministries departments agencies they own the company that regulating electricity they own them how much 72 billion 72 billion naira since august 2017 and they published this news 2018 so now he said nothing has been paid by the military so most of the military offices that they don't pay bill and they have to pay because the company that generating the light, they are spending money as well to regulating the uh, electricity. Then, so government determine uh, what Nigerians pays for the power consumers. So until Nigeria government review electricity tariff. So this is what the, what uh, this this man said. This, uh, so this is what he said. So Nigeria uh, power loses have risen to about three hundred and thirty two point four billion naira due to insufficient gas supply. Then distribution and transmission between January and uh, July 2019. So that is another information. On July 29, 2019, so average, uh, average energy sent out was about 3,588 megawatts per hour. So down by... 237.73 megawatts. So 1,405 megawatts was not generated due to unavailability of gas. And we said we are the second largest gas producer in the whole world. Why 2,153 uh, 0 0.6 megawatts was not generated due to high frequency, so resulting from the unavailability of uh, distribution infrastructure. So uh, most businesses have a generator and the city is constantly filled with the noises, noises, even not only offices, every home, when the uh, the NAS uh, took off light, so then everybody uh, provide uh, power to their home, so turn on the generators, then the noises. Uh, begins as 
as uh, they fill uh, their generator with fuel, then pollution from millions of people creating their power uh, through the generator, the air polluted. So, which I said that can cause cancer. Many people have died due to all those, uh, all those things. So recently, National Assembly, uh, someone uh, in National Assembly uh, proposed a bill that they have to ban generators in Nigeria uh, without providing all alternative of uh, stability of uh, electricity. So I don't think that one can work out. The, the government have to provide 24 hours electricity first before they can ask National Assembly to ban generators and to ban all those companies that they are bringing generators to to Nigeria. So stability of uh, electricity in Nigeria, as I said, is very important. So National Assembly should please review uh, this video and take radical action to solve the the problem of uh, uh, Nigeria uh, uh, electric uh, electricity. Uh, so, um, uh, in in my own uh, uh, research, in my own research, uh, House of Representatives, House of Reps in Abuja. Uh, they they proposed a bill. Uh, the bill that we ensure free uh, electricity uh, uh, just for two months, as I said in the beginning, to Nigerians. So according to Larry Lassisi, who is the spokesperson of the uh, Speaker uh, House of Rep, uh, Chief uh, Femi Bajabia Mila. Uh, so told the National Assembly that uh, if the government can provide electricity free for Nigerians, uh, it will boost the economy through the informal uh, sector. Uh, but as as of today, so no no uh, decision has been uh, taken. So by the federal government. So uh, now let us check. Uh, let's let us check the list of the the countries by electricity uh, production uh, across uh, the globe. Then we can now uh, suggest some of the other solution. Uh, number one, like uh, China. China they have about twenty six million six hundred and fourteen. 1,800 megawatts and China is about 1.4 billion. Uh, United States of America, the, the government provide 4,460,800 megawatts for their citizens. United Kingdom, the UK, their government provides 333,900 megawatts for their citizens, and they are just about 67 million. In France, the government provides 574,200 megawatts for their citizens. In Japan, 1,051,600 megawatts, and they are just about 126 million. Because Nigeria is more than 126 million, and they are using 4,000 or 5,000 megawatts. So in Russia, the, the government provides 1,110,800 megawatts. Canada, the, the government provides 654,400 megawatts. In India, 1,561,100 megawatts. For their citizen. In South Korea, 594,300 uh, megawatts. And uh, uh, so for their citizen. South Africa, the government provides 256,000 megawatts for their citizen. 
In Egypt, the government provides 200,000 megawatts for their citizens. In Nigeria, they send out to the world news that they have 28,000 megawatts, but it's a lie. It's not up to 28,000. It's just about between four to five uh, thousand. So, but the fact, according to my investigations, is about just about 1,020. Because they said when they finish Mambila project, that is Nigeria, so we have about uh, maybe uh, more than 4,000 or 5,000 megawatts. And as I said, that uh, Nigeria is about 200 million. Sometimes the government will say they are 167 million because individual or citizen in Nigeria, they don't have ID card. So no ID. So the government doesn't know how many people live in the country. So let's assume that Nigeria is 200 million. So, and even let's assume that they have 28,000. So 28,000 is not enough. So they need 280,000. So before they can have 24 hours, seven days in a week. In North Korea, they have about 20,000 20, megawatts. In Ghana, they have about 10,906 megawatts. So why Nigeria do not have stability of electricity? Uh, and we have uh, resources. Some countries, they use wind, wind energy. Nigeria have more than enough wind. Some country they use solar, solar, and we have solar. <clears throat> we have, um, um, we have uh, some country they use dam. So we have more than enough dams in Nigeria. So wind energy uh, has potential, but on uh, it is uh, unavailable. Uh, so we don't have wind po uh, power system uh, in Nigeria. So electricity will be generated uh, uh, if they use uh, wind as well. Some they use nuclear energy, which require a stable energy uh, grid uh, to to maintain. Uh, so. Now, um, uh, solution, uh, solution, solution to end uh, unstable uh, electricity in, in Nigeria. Uh, so these are the solution which National Assembly sh uh, should review and uh, government uh, agencies if they review this and they work on it, Nigeria will have 24 hours, seven days electricity in Nigeria. Uh, first, Nigeria, uh, they sit on the billions of ton of coal. Coal, uh, coal. we have uh, coal in Nigeria. Uh, yet, so businesses die for lack of power in Nigeria, which can be uh, generated from coal. So coal uh, exploration offers a significant opportunity for power generation, uh, which they used during the British uh, colonial. So when British colonial master were in Nigeria, uh, the colonial masters, they used coal to generate electricity uh, uh, in Nigeria. And it works for 24 hours, seven days in a day. Seven hours, um, 24 hours and seven days in a week. So Nigeria used coal in 1972 so Nigeria used coal, coal, Edu, in 1972. And they use uh, this coal. Uh, they use coal uh, that time. So because Nigeria have a, a coal mining uh, and 
1972, coal production started in Nigeria in about 1902. So in 1902, it was the, the main energy source for Nigeria in 1902 until in 1960. So if you go to Anabra, so in Anabra, uh, they have a coal basin. So Nigeria Coal Company, we have it. And they have uh, about uh, coal mining. We have Nigeria have about seven coal mining. They do. So um, uh, they have it in uh, Kogi State. Nigeria have coal in Enugun. We have coal in Benue. And that time, so Nigeria Railway Corporation uh, have used coal. So coal to power the train. So Nigerian government have abandoned all the dilapidated buildings. So left as reminder of the miners in those days in Nigeria, which is very, very sad. Just because we have discovered crude oil in 1958, so they abandoned all this. Uh, Nigerian government can solve the problem of electricity by using coal as an alternative. So alternative means of uh, generating electricity in Nigeria. So coal power plants is very, very easy than gas plants or hydropower plants that we have in Kanji Dam and other dams in Nigeria. So Nigeria have one of the best coal across the globe. Nigeria can deposit um, uh, uh, this, uh, this coal and it can be obtained from Anabra, it can be obtained from Kogi State, it can be obtained from Enugu, it can be obtained from Benue, it can be obtained from uh, Ogoyoga, and they have it in Kwara State as well. So Western countries introduce solar to our leaders in Nigeria, dis discouraging them from using coal, which are very expensive. So solar is very expensive than using coal. When Kemi Adioshu was a minister to Muhammad Buhari, Kemi Adioshu, uh, she said, I quote, is, she said Nigeria was trying to use coal, but they denied us to use it. So um, that is a, a com competition uh, of marketing. So some countries are using coal with more than with this modern day technology so without environmental pollution without environmental uh, pollution so uh, so let us look into uh, some top <coughs> top 10 countries <coughs> across the globe top 10 countries using coal do to generate electricity. So there are some countries till today they are using coal to generate electricity. Uh, they are United States of America. They are using coal do to generate their electricity. And USA uses about 1,643 metric tons of uh, coal. Number two, China. China uses about 3,785 metric tons of coal to generate electricity, and it works. Number three, Indian. Indian uses 800 metric tons of coal to generate electricity, and it works. Pan. They are using 303 metric tons of coal to generate electricity, and it works. So Korea, 
uses 239 metric tons of coal and it works. Russia, they use about 169 metric tons of coal and it works. United Kingdom, they use 144 metric tons of coal and it works. So in Germany, they use about 287 metric tons of uh, metric tons of coal, and it works. South Africa, they use 239 metric tons of coal, and it works. So Australia uses 171 metric tons of coal to generate the electricity in their countries, and it works. If it works for them. Why not in Nigeria? Why not in Nigeria? I am pleading to National Assembly and any other agencies concerned to please to review this and take radical action to please to help uh, Nigerians. So Nigeria is now importing coal from South Africa to power its industries and plants. Even Dangote imports uh, coal from South Africa. Meanwhile, we have it in Nigeria. We don't need to import coal from anywhere. When we have more than enough, we have more than enough coal deposits in our country. So, and... Um, uh, those people that they are using coal to generate power. So most of the, there are some other things that uh, they can use the coal for. For instance, now most of the products that we use on daily basis have coal components, such as soap, soap that we are using every day to bath, to wash, uh, cloth that we use to wash our hand. Uh, so, comprises coal. So, then uh, dyes also, then plastic, all those plastic, they are components of uh, coal. Uh, spring, uh, nylon, uh, all those carrier bags. So, and so most of the materials they use by construction company. So, and then many air shampoo, many uh, metal, even toothpaste that we use every day. They use coal to produce all this. So coal is very, very useful. So many people in Nigeria become billionaire by exporting Nigerian coal abroad. So Nigerian government ignore this opportunity. They focus on our crude, crude oil because we have 2.8 million barrels per day. They focus on crude oil as the major income for the country. So if China, US, UK, Germany, Japan, Russia, Korea, um, uh, Australia, India, and South Africa rely on the coal, to generate power. So what's wrong with Nigerian government ignoring this? I personally don't understand. And Nigerian government has issued a license to about 18 companies to export our coal abroad. So you see, so through the coal they do, some of the people they have become billionaire in Nigeria. The coal that Nigerian government needs to use and invite all those uh, people that they have bought the electricity, they can repay their money as Yaradwa did to Dangote when Dangote bought Ribanari, Kaduna Ribanari. So Nigerian government can pay them off and take the full responsibility of electricity because electricity is national asset which must be controlled by the government. So not individual because they can, that is why they are bringing a crazy bill to you in the house. 
because they are the in charge. So, so finally, conclusion. So before I leave, so I have uh, recommendations for governments, uh, which if they work hard on it, Nigeria we have twenty four hours electricity. I have mentioned coal. That that is number one. I have mentioned the countries that they are using coal to generate their electricity. So number one, Nigerian government should take a radical approach to tackle the challenges in the electricity sector. Electricity distribution is the holding Nigeria is is holding Nigeria back. And it has affected the Nigeria economy, economic growth, as I say, as I said. So Nigerians are paying massive money for diesel to power their generators, which pollutes the environment, which cause cancer. So which causes cancer? So 50% uh, of the Nigerians do not have uh, access to the electricity. So uh, then unstable electricity has affected many businesses, as I said in the beginning. It has affected many hospitals, it has affected um, uh, security because it has increased the, the crimes. It has affected education, it has affected quality life of citizens. So a country uh, with an estimated of around 200 million, so generate 2,572 megawatts. So 2,572 megawatt, that is in the, the current uh, confirmed information. And this lower than 4,000 megawatts during the late Umar Musa between 2007 and 2010. The effort of Nigerian governments on, on this issue since 1960 till uh, 2020 have failed. Number seven of my recommendation, Nigeria is rated as the darkest nation in the world. Nigeria is, is ranked lower on international measure in business sector, which is discouraging foreign investments due, uh, due to unstable uh, of electricity in Nigeria. Number eight, among my recommendation, personal recommendation to Nigerian government, Nigeria needs at least 280,000 megawatts of electricity. And if Nigerian government works, uh, if Nigerian government uh, work hard on all those abandoned uh, dams and they invite the experts among those countries that they are using coal to generate their electricity 24 hours. So Nigerian government can, they can do it. So they can do it and I'm sure they will do it. So Nigeria will have electricity 24 hours. It's affecting them as well because most of them also they are using generators at home and they know how much they are spending on the diesel and uh, all these to where they are generators. Uh, so they have to, Nigeria needs 280,000 megawatts so of, of the electricity. Number nine, Nigerian government should invest on power sector. They need to invest more on power sector. Number 10, Nigeria should stop importing coal from South Africa because we have more than enough and most of uh, people that they have issued license uh, to export our uh, coal abroad so they need to invite them and have an official meeting with them how they can supply coal to federal government as well so to use it to generate 24 hours, 7 days in a week. Number 11, 
uh, Nigeria government should uh, seek advice from the private sectors among that top uh, 10 countries using coal to generate electricity, as I said. How they do it? As Nigeria is blessed with coal mining, so if China, UK, US, Germany, Japan, Russia, India, Korea, South Africa, Australia succeeded in using coal, so Nigeria will succeed. I have 100% assurance that Nigeria will succeed. Uh, number 12. Solar is cheaper, but 80 million Nigerians do not have access to, to solar uh, power. So 80 million Nigerians do not have access to, uh, to solar. Number 13, uh, Nigeria, uh, Nigeria's uh, power problem uh date back to the country's uh, early day of independence till date which i have mentioned that we have been having this problem since 1960 till date so government need to review all what i've said and they can check as well they can make their own investigation about the the problem so on the electric, uh, electricity so the problem uh, can be traced back so uh, early day of independence till date number 14 uh, nigerian government needs to build uh, a new power plant and distribution lines to keep the population well uh, at least, as I said, I have mentioned all those uh, dams. Many uh, governments, um, some of them may not even know that we have up to that. So we, they think, some of them think only the Kanji Dam, the Shiroro Dam, uh, Zungeru Dam. So, but if they investigate, they will see that uh, we have many dams in Nigeria which they can use if they don't have interest to use uh, coal. Number uh, 15, Nigeria, uh, Nigerians uh, spent up to uh, 8 billion another report said 80 billion US dollars per year on generators and on diesel as i said and it pollutes nigerian air which is uh, dangerous to the health as i said and it can cause cancer according to many doctors i spoke to and some health uh, professionals so it can cause cancer number 16 solve Nigerian problem on the electricity we help the situation of security in Nigeria solving the problem of electricity in Nigeria we help uh, the health sector and it will help educational uh, sector it will help many uh, sectors uh, and social welfare in Nigeria. Even if government is planning to install CCTV to many places to combat the uh, uh, the crime, it, they still need stability of electricity before it works. In Western world, they have CCTV camera. Uh, they have it in, in uh, on their sh on their buses on the train. Uh, they have it on the uh, many targeted areas, and also they have it everywhere. And the CCTV is powered by the electricity, so the uh, CCTV must have uh, power 24 hours, so that when any crimes 
uh, uh, call so they we they can take it and review it they will know the problem so if nigerian government is ready to help the masses so through cctv uh, it, it helps many banks they have it in nigeria some uh, prominent people in nigeria they have cctv in their houses why is for is is just to to combat uh, security they want to monitor uh, activities of the houses of the houses 24 hours so this also must be installed uh, so in the country to combat uh, cctv why uk and uh, us canada uh, why they install cctv in china in japan it's just for them to to combat the uh, the crime it helps police it helps the the investigators so to investigate the crime so and electricity is very very important so for every country even if you have it in your house cctv is very very helpful so you will, you can monitor the activities of uh, what is going on within your family uh, so cctv needs electricity so if you are planning to uh, to apply uh, cctv even in your house you still need uh, power so to power it so th that is number uh number uh, number 16 uh, so uh, fixing electricity uh, so it will reduce the the crime in uh, so in nigeria uh, then uh, number uh, 18 number number 17 and 18 i have mentioned uh, that so the nigerian government so they need to fix this uh, electricity so to reduce the the crime so number 18 which is the last of my recommendation is to review this video and work on it i beg you in the name of almighty god i beg you in the name of almighty god to solve this nigeria uh, electricity problem and they know what they can do if they are ready to do it and it will help the the businesses it will attract uh, foreign investors as well so to come and invest in nigeria many investors they have left the country uh, due to unstable of uh, electricity uh, so, uh, as I said, so Bolai Gay tried his possible best. Uh, so, on this uh, electricity, when he was a uh, minister of power, because he was killed. His wife also, Atinuke, also died. Why? Because somebody is supposed to, they relied on to be a good, reliable witness. In the court when Omisori was vindicated uh, that time so the guy uh, was saying something else and uh, so and his wife Atinuke also died so Bolaige uh, will be remembered Bolaige he, 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 he try his best so when he was a uh, former uh, minister of power. Uh, so, and uh, Obasanjo and s some people that they rule and Atiku, they know the fact uh, why Bolaige was killed. So, but they covered the, the truth. Uh, they covered the, the truth. And then uh, we should know that uh, there are three types of uh, judgments. The judgment of man, the judgment of court. You may escape from judgment of man and you may escape from judgment of court, but you cannot escape from judgment of Almighty God. So that is what happened on uh, Bolai's case. Uh, 
so he really really tried so many people have been killed uh, without any justice in Nigeria Dele Jiwa was killed in 1986 so Alfred Rewani, uh, Rewani was killed in 1995 Bagauda was killed in 1996 Kudratu Abiola was killed in 1996. MKO Abiola was killed in 1998. Uh, Barnabas Igwe and his wife also was killed in 2002. Mashahari was killed in 2003. Dikibo and Hassan uh, also was killed in 2005. Ayodej Daramola in Ekiti was killed in 2006. Funshaw Williams was killed in 2006. Dipo Dina was killed in 2010. Olaitan Uyerinde was killed in 2012. Funke uh, Olakuri was killed in 2019. So, but if there is a uh, um, stability of uh, um, uh, electric, um, electricity and CCTV so governments can identify the killers through the CCTV if this, the CCTV is working so they can through the CCTV they can identify the, the, the killers so but nothing so uh so um uh, so this is uh, what we have for for us to today uh finally before i go so oh god of creation so direct our noble cause guide our leaders rights help our youth the truth to know uh, because uh, most of our youth they want to know the truth and I am informing you the truth about the electricity from 1960 till date and even till 2030 so we have mentioned what is going to happen to electricity in the next 10 20 years in this uh, video so uh, in love and honest to grow and uh, living just and the truth so great we our our leaders so they need to work hard to build the peace justice and because uh, with uh, quality uh, of leadership and truth and justice and that is how our country uh, can survive and uh, that is how we can uh, improve our country. So may Almighty God continue to be with us and help Nigeria and help Nigerians wherever they are. And may Almighty God direct our leaders to, to the right. And may Almighty God touch their hearts to fix uh, this uh, electricity. Uh, I'm going to recite Kun Fire Kun because uh, it is, uh, this, this topic is a very, very um, touching topic which many people uh, in Nigeria are not happy with the distribution of the electricity. So, and it is very easy when God is ready, God will allow somebody, we touch somebody to fix this electricity in Nigeria because electricity is very, very important, as I said. So, I will end uh, today's program with the uh, Kun Fire Kun. It's a special prayer. I pray for Nigeria and I'm praying for the nation. And I'm praying for Nigerians as well, and I'm praying, I'm praying for the country generally. So this con fire con, by the grace of God, a day shall come when God will touch somebody to help Nigerians to fix uh, this electricity. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بدي السماوات ولا ريد وإذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون قالت ربي أن يكون لي ولد ولم يمسسني بشر قال كذلك الله يخلق ما يشاء إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون إن مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون هو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق ويوم يقول له كن فيكون إنما قولنا لشيء إذا أردناه may Almighty God touch our leaders to fix Nigeria electricity أيقول له كن فيكون ما كان الله أن يتخذ من ولد سبحانه إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون وهو الذي يحيي ويميت فَإِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُن فَيَكُونُ اللَّهُ نُورُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مَثَلُ نُورِ كَمِشْكَاتِ فِيهَا مِصْبَاحٌ مِصْبَاحٌ فِي زُجَاجَةٍ زُجَاجَةٌ تُكَانُ كَعَقَابٍ دُرِيٍّ كُلُّ شَرَطٍ بَرَكَةٍ زَيْتُونَ تِلَّا شَرِكِيَّةٍ وَلَا غَرِيبِيَّةٍ يَكَادُ زَيْتُهُ أَيُدِيُّ وَلَا أُلَمْتَ مُسَاسُ النَّارُ نُورَ الْنَّورِ يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء يهدي الله لنوره من يشاء ويدرب الله الامثال للناس والله بكل شيء عليم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون سلام وسلام الحمد لله رب العالمين this is where uh, uh, we end today's program uh, till all that time My name remain Dr. Dawood Awale for IMC CMC from London. Good night.